2018 marks the 30th anniversary of Die Hard and the introduction of John McClane to moviegoers. He's one of the most iconic action heroes ever, which makes it all the more insane how many massive stars passed on playing him. Yippee Kai, what? Come to the coast, we get together, have a few laughs. <laughs> The first to turn down the role is also the hardest to imagine navigating Nakatomi Plaza, one of the biggest celebrities of the 20th century, old blue eyes himself, Frank Sinatra. He was 72 at the time. Although not widely known, Die Hard is actually based on Roderick Thorpe's 1979 novel Nothing Lasts Forever, which is a sequel to 1966's The Detective. And because Sinatra starred in that movie, he was contractually attached to the sequel, but quickly passed. You're gonna see that goddamnest explosion, you're gonna tear this nation right down the middle. Another actor attached early was the legendary Clint Eastwood, who had optioned the movie rights to Nothing Lasts Forever and planned to star in in the early 80s, but it never got off the ground. Go ahead, make my day. When director John McTiernan came on board, his first two choices for McLean were dramatic actors. Al Pacino, who had earned five Oscar nominations so far. Say hello to my little friend. And Richard Gere, who was Golden Globe nominated a few years prior for An Officer and a Gentleman. Both passed, so the producers went out to, oh, basically every action star ever at the time. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, James Caan, and Burt Reynolds. Other actors rumored to have been offered the role include Harrison Ford, Robert De Niro, Charles Bronson, Nick Nolte, Mel Gibson, Don Johnson, and MacGyver himself, Richard Dean Anderson. Welcome to the party, pal! One actor not initially considered was Moonlighting star Bruce Willis, who was known only as a comedic actor at the time. So let's talk about Yale. Let's talk about Princeton. What about Yale and Princeton? Couple of great schools. Of course, that all changed when the John McClane part fell to him, and his wisecracking bravado turned Die Hard into an instant classic. Thanks for the advice. Making 140 million at the domestic box office and spawning four sequels, all starring Willis. Yippee ki yay, mother. <laughs>